Okay, this video is going to go over dependent and independent events. We're still working with probability in this video, and we're going to look at two different types of events. Okay, make sure you're on the page that says dependent events. Open up that flap if you're in my class and you're doing your notes. We're going to look at the definition of dependent events, and then we're going to do this example together. Okay, at the top it says if two events, and they're just using letters, if two events are dependent, then the probability of both events occurring is the product of the first probability and the second probability. So important things we need to um, take into consideration right here. When something is dependent, you are going to have to do the product of both events. Okay, I'm going to write one fraction, I'm going to write the second fraction, and then um, product means multiply if you forgot that. So I'm going to add that in here. Product means multiply before you say your answer. First thing I'm going to do is make my two fractions, and then I'm going to multiply them together. Okay, um, this example says there are six black socks and four white socks in a drawer. If one sock is chosen without looking and then a second one is taken out, what is the probability that both will be black? So the thing I'm looking for, I need both socks to be black. I have six black socks and then I have four white socks. Okay, no matter what, you always need to know the total. So, 6 and 4, that makes 10. Okay? If you're in my class, there's already another question over here on this side. So, underneath where this problem is, down here, you guys have a bunch of blank space. Just write this question down below, and then we'll draw a line splitting it, okay? So, whatever I'm putting over here, you guys put below this question. Okay? I'm just going to write down, um, it says I need the first sock to be black, and then I need the second sock to be black. Okay, the first black sock. There were six black socks out of ten total. Okay, then I want to get the second black sock. So that I get matches. Well, once I take a sock away, I don't have six socks anymore. I took one sock, then I want to try to get another one. But they kept the first one, so now instead of me still having six, my next fraction is going to be one less. It's going to be five. Now I have five black socks. And... Instead of me having 10 total socks because I kept one, I don't have 10 anymore, I have nine black socks or nine total socks. It said you should times. I'm going to go across. I'm going to multiply these together. Multiply these together. And then that's going to be my probability answer. Six times five is 30. And 9 times 10 is 90. Or if you were to simplify that, it makes one third. Either of these answers would work. Okay? Remember, the thing you're going to do is you're going to count up all the socks that you have, get the total, find the quantity of the color they want. Then when you get ready to make your second one, you have you kept it. So there's one less than what was there. There's also one less total sock. The reason this number went down is because it was black with black. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, this question, if you're in my class, was over on the right side of your screen. Okay, I've had to make more space. So I have taken this question... I'm going to write next to it. You guys write underneath it because you have a big area on the bottom instead of on the side. We're only going to do this first question. We're not going to do all of them. Okay. Whatever I'm writing over here, 
you can write it below. It says there are four green, six red, and five yellow marbles in a bag. You are going to select one, and it's not going to be replaced. Okay, so we're going to find the probability of first getting yellow and then getting red, but we are not putting the yellow one back. So that's going to mean we have one less total. When you look through here, it says you have four green, six red, five yellow. If I put all these together, um, that means I have 15 total. So wherever you want to put that, if you think you can fit it in right there, okay. If not, go put it down at the bottom. We are going to answer this question. You guys can answer it below where you have more space. Okay, I want to make my first thing be yellow. And the fraction for yellow has five yellow. Fifteen total. Then... They want me to get red. Okay, when I look up here, I'm not doing yellow again, okay? I'm switching colors. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to see how many reds there are. It says there's six reds, so I would write the number six down. But you need to remember, it says I am not going to put back this yellow one. I'm going to take one yellow. I'm going to keep it. Then I'm going to go pick out from the reds. There were six reds. After I kept that yellow one, there's no longer 15. So when I come to here, there needs to be one less. When I go across, there needs to be one less. That makes 14. Okay, I'm going to multiply these across so that I get my answer. 5 times 6 is 30. And 15 times 14 is 210. That can simplify down all the way to 1 out of 7. So either one of those is the answer, but 1 seventh is the simplified. Okay, to recap, there was 5 yellows out of 15 total. I kept it. Then there's only 14 marbles left. I go look and see how many reds there were, and there's six reds. When you make your two fractions, then you multiply going across. Okay, if you're in my class, now what I need you to do is you are going to switch to the next page, and the tab says Independent Events. Open up the tab that says Independent Events, and let's look at the definition. It has one thing different about it at the top. Um, this one says the probability of two independent events can be found by just multiplying the probability of the first one and the second one. Still multiplying, no matter if it's independent or dependent. I'm going to find the answer by multiplying the first one by the second one. Okay, and we're going to go the writing process the same way if you're in my class you have a question over here next to this I needed some room to write so I deleted this one for now so you guys write down below underneath this question um, whatever I put over here okay the first problem says the two there are two number cubes one is red and one is blue and they are rolled what is the probability that the outcome of the blue number cube would be a five and the red number cube would be even. Okay, number cubes traditionally have 1 through 6. And since this didn't say otherwise, we're going to go with they have the numbers 1 through 6. Um, I'm going to put that down right here that we have numbers 1 through 6 on both cubes. Okay. So on the first number cube that's red... I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And they want me to try to get even. Okay, the even numbers are 2, 4, and 6. So that means my fraction would be 3 out of 6. Then the second part of the question said 
it wants the blue number cube to have a 5. Okay, so on the blue number cube, I still have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here's the difference. With number cubes, when I roll, it doesn't erase and go away. I still have all the numbers left to choose when I do my next one. Um, this one, it said they want you to get only a number 5. When you look up here, there's only one number five. And all the numbers are still there on the number cube. So this time, if it's independent, the numbers are not going to change. I still have however many it was supposed to be there. I still am going to solve the question the same way by multiplication. Three times one is three. And six times six is thirty-six. If you simplify that down, it should go to 1 12th would be the final answer. 3 over 36 or 1 12th. Okay, last question. Still on the tab that says independent events. This question, if you're in my class, was over here on this side. Okay, I've had to make more space, so you guys, for solving this question, just write underneath it like we did on the previous one. This question um, says a card is drawn from a deck of 10 cards that are numbered 1 through 10, and a number cube is rolled. Number cubes, again, are going to have the numbers 1 through 6. Um, these cards are going to be 1 through 10. Okay, we are only going to answer this first question. And we're going to answer it down below. So I have my cards. And it said you have the numbers all the way to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So for that one, it says I want to get a 10. That's what it says over here. Okay, you need to get a 10. There's only one number 10 in the group, so my fraction would be 1 out of 10. Um, then, the next thing is I have a number cube. And the number cube has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And they say, get a number three. That's what this is right here. Get a number three. Okay, there's only one number three. Out of, there's six numbers total on a number cube. I'm still going to solve this the same way. I'm going to multiply straight across. One times one is one. And ten times six is sixty. And that cannot simplify. So the probability of me getting a 10 and then a 3 is 1 out of 60. This time the um, bottom number was a 6 because there were 6 numbers on the number cube. The bottom number was 10 because there's 10 numbers, um, 10 different cards.